Morning, everyone. This is the News Burst for midweek. It is Wednesday. Susie, bad back and all, is here. Super Trooper. I wanted nice to sit next to you. All right, well, it's, you know, it's a coveted spot. Wake up temperature 66 degrees in Waukesha, 70 degrees in Milwaukee today. But Storm Team forecaster Scott Steele has a lot of pretty colors on the radar this morning, and there should be more reappearing late this afternoon. Here's the rest from Scotty. Rain this morning, rain uh, this afternoon into the evening with chance for sun in between. High today of 80 degrees. In the news today, the man who's been missing from Exonia, his body has been found, Bo Butchke. Uh, was apparently found, according to family, in a shed not far from his home. For some reason, investigators out in Jefferson County are not confirming any of these details, but a family spokesperson did contact today's TMJ4 and confirmed that they found the body of Bo Butchke. They've been looking for him, again, for almost two weeks. We do look forward to hearing some more details from investigators as to what they think happened. Uh, there was a fight downtown right on Wisconsin Avenue, the bridge over the Milwaukee River. Two people ended up in the river, and one of those people died. Look forward to hearing from MPD today on the circumstances of that incident, but boy, that's scary. Oh, no, that's right? horrible. It sounds like it was just kind of, they ran into the river to get away from the fight or goofing off or something. Somehow spilled yeah. over into the river and one of the people involved never came back up. Uh, Milwaukee will get a streetcar system. Probably. I just say probably. It is a done deal. It was approved by the Common Council. The vote was 10 to 5 yesterday. The mayor is ex fully expected to sign it and, and make it happen. But we have been debating this. I mean, I was born here in the mid-70s. As far as I can remember, we have been debating rail for the city of Milwaukee. And we are still so debating So at the earliest rail. stages of my consciousness, I remember this conversation. So we'll believe it when the thing goes ding, ding, and it actually happens. Again, still very many detractors. You wonder if they have any options left to try and derail the system. Well, and it's the price tag on it, what, $68 65, million? 65 I think, okay. to start up, and then there are the continued costs. So we'll see where that goes. The debt ceiling debate, I'm at the point where uh, now I'm going to stop talking about it until they have a deal. Which is, should be pretty soon because well, the deadline is next week. We need to be, week. right? So we'll let you know when they have a deal. In sports, Packers looks like look like they cut Nick Barnett if they can't trade him in the next couple of days, which they probably can't now that people know that he's going to get cut, right? Well, he tweeted it. Right, he's so done. thanks for the, the time in Green Bay. For all intents and purposes, Nick Barnett is done with the Green Bay Packers. Training camp players report on Friday. Practices set to begin Saturday. And the Brewers beat the Cubs 3-2 to two at Miller Park. They go again tonight. Axford got his 25th straight save. Actually sounded like a home game for the crew at Miller I know, Park. A lot of right? cheers. Which Not is as nice. Cubs fans right. Which is nice when the chance. Cubs are in town. They tend to represent less well when they're playing crummy. We're gonna do this program. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Live at Daybreak. I'm Susan Kim, and thanks for joining us today. I'm Vince Petrano. We made it to Wednesday. It is July 27th. A lot of pretty colors on the radar this morning. Storm Team forecaster Scott Steele watching all of them. Good morning.